fellow Toastmasters, and valued guests. Today I'm going to be covering a topic that we all have been part of through our lives. It's called negotiation. And negotiation is defined as discussion aimed at reaching an agreement. It's pretty simple. So I'll be covering the basics of negotiating. And with the items that I'll be presenting, you can use these techniques probably pretty successfully in your negotiation. So have you ever been in a situation where you found yourself in a negotiation? Have you maybe as a kid gotten yourself in trouble and tried to get out of it by negotiating? Or maybe you bought a house or a car and you were negotiating on a price. So there are three types of negotiation. The first one is the win-win. The win-win is where both parties feel satisfied with the outcome of the negotiation and have profited personally. The second one is the win-lose. And the win-lose is where one party wins at the other expense. So one party feels really good and the other one does not because they didn't get satisfied. Then there's the lose-lose. <clears throat> That's where both parties do reach an agreement, but they both do not feel satisfied about the outcome. So those are the three uh, results of negotiation. So I'm going to go through five steps of how to negotiate. The first step, define what you want. So if you're buying something, basically you say, I want this car at this price, or I want this stereo at this price, or this house at this price. Step two, determine what you need, and determine the wants and hidden reasons of the other party. So if you're going for a car, you may try and define what you want. Do I want a, a two-man car? Do I want a sedan? So forth and so on. And then you're going to be talking to a sales guy, and you know that he can move on his price because he's got some incentive, some profit that he gets that's hidden that you don't know about. And you can probably negotiate there. That's the kind of thing you want to do, is be able to make that determination. Now, I've, I've gone into a stereo place, and they have something on sale, and I've negotiated a lower price on that price, because the guy, the sales guy, is getting a commission, and he wanted to sell it. It was a slow time, he wanted to sell something that day, and I just happened to come in, and I was able to negotiate on getting a lower price. So you can negotiate on anything at any time. Step three, define your options. So basically, you don't just set yourself on one thing. You have to think about what options, what happens if you know, the guy comes back, you want the thing for 5000 and he won't give it to you. So how much will you give on that $5,000, for example? <clears throat> Number four, when you negotiate, be aware of the other party's needs and wants as you're negotiating. And step five, is after you've come out of your negotiation, be content with what you got. So when you go into negotiation, you wanna keep your mind in win-win. Now remember, win-win is when both parties are satisfied. So you gotta find out what the other person wants and needs, and you're gonna keep that in mind. You're gonna begin by offering one of your options. Then you're going to describe the benefit of the option to the person. Then you're going to state what you what exactly what you want that you think is mutually agreeable and make the other party feel like they are gaining more than what they are giving up. Listen, listen is very important. Don't interrupt. If an option is offered to you, let the other party know what's acceptable or not acceptable. Offer an alternative if the other party offer is not acceptable. If the other party keeps pushing an option, 
Keep repeating your refusal until your answer is accepted. And you always want to start with something positive. So that basically ends the first part of my speech. We have three more parts. Sam and I are going to enact a negotiation to demonstrate what I'm speaking on today. It's going to be um, three to five minutes. Then after that, we're going to have a discussion about what we could have done or what was good that we did, what could we have done better, and that kind of thing. So with saying that, Sam, why don't you come on up? Store. How may I help you today? Sam, come on, you know me. I bought stuff from you before. I'm looking for some chairs, and I hear that you have a lot of 40 chairs. So what, uh, what can I get the 40 chairs for? Actually, I have a really great deal for you. You can get these chairs. So how many chairs are you looking for? How many? About 40 or 40. So? You have a lot of 40 is what I heard. Okay, okay. I do have at least 40 of this wonderful chair here. And now I'm only asking $20 per chair. So if you were to buy 40, that would be 800 bucks. And we could have it soon shipped to your location simply for 200 bucks more. So that's 40 chairs total, $1,000. Great. How would you feel about that deal? Well, you know, what kind of quality? I, I, you always sell me things that are just terrific. The last stuff I bought, the desks, they were great. Everybody loved them, they were useful, and everything else. So what, what can you tell me about the quality of this chair? Well, this chair, as we all tell you, it's came in the store. And as you can tell, since we, we had complaints years ago about having four legs, but we now have five legs. So as you may know, much more stable much more comfortable, and we have new features of instantly you can control the height of this particular chair. Maybe not. That might be the broken one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's right now. You're okay. This is the chair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So I found the wrong chair. That was meant to go back to the back. Oh. Well, you can lower it and raise it. Here you go. Now, this is what I'm referring to. Now these are great chairs. One thing I also like is the lumbar support here that really helps. Because being in the office all day without a good lumbar support is really a wreck on your back. And you don't want your employees complaining to you about sore backs right away. And the quality material is great. This is new synthetic material, but it's been proven to really last years. And if you like, maybe sit in it and give it a try and see if you choose. Do you agree with me or not? Wow, it's like it does feel good. It rocks. Wow. <laughs> so, I Sam. I believe you can change that too, but I have to restudy the manual. <laughs> yeah, I know your, your list price is $20. Uh, $20 a chair. Right. And uh, I know we can't do anything about the shipping, but you know, I, I bought things from you before, and, and you know, you've always given me a deal. So, you know, I was thinking maybe I can, uh, you can give it to me for $15 a chair and uh, I'll pay the $200 and, uh, you know, I'll be getting what I want and it'll keep within my budget and you'll be getting what you want. You'll still make profit on the chair and you'll get rid of all 40 chairs and it, it'll be a great thing for you and it'll be a great thing for me. How does okay. that sound? Let's take a look. Let me just calculation here. Okay, so instead of four hundred or instead of eight hundred dollars, I can simply give you the chairs for six hundred dollars. And if you like, we also have a special warranty that if you have any problem with them within the next five years, simply take it back and replace it. That's an extra five dollars per chair, so so that'll bring the price up to about. 
dollars. That's right. So you don't necessarily need to take the warranty, but fifteen dollars a chair. Well, I think at that point, six hundred bucks. I I like that. I like I like your chair. I like the quality of stuff you sold me, and I, I like the prices. Seven seven hundred plus two hundred dollars, and and that meets my budget too. Right. So okay. That sounds great. Let's and, do it. And and from previous experience, we don't burn you. You you know we'll call oh, you yeah. stuff. Yes. And the real truth is, we actually looked on the internet, and we couldn't find anything of similar quality of a relatively good price. Well, that's why I'm here, Sam. Thank you very much. You bet. So, so 30 bucks a chair, the deal's yours. Okay. <laughs> now, would you like the warranty or not? Yeah. Uh, well, you said you're going to throw the warranty in, so I'll, I'll take the warranty. Tell you what, you. since you're a great customer, we'll do that. Okay. We will do that, because we want you to come back. We want you, our customers to be satisfied. We want them back. That's how we develop our reputation. Thank you, Sam. You bet. Enjoy your chairs. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> we'll go. Have a seat. Yeah. Sam, have a seat. Oh, okay. I'm going to take the non-broken chair here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, did everybody see what, what happened there? Was there anything that I could have done better? to uh, negotiate better with Sam on selling the furniture? Anybody? Mm. Scott? You did a good job. I would have tried to get them on the sales tax. So. <laughs> <laughs> in, in our case, we didn't have sales tax. Oh, okay. We talked about that, but that would have brought the, the time out further if we started mm -hmm. talking about sales tax and that kind of thing. So we, we cut out the sales tax. But yes, normally you could say, would you pay over the sales tax kind of thing? Trying to negotiate on that. <clears throat> Anybody else? I think you should have incorporated more of the ways. Like, you should have tried to get to a win win instead of starting on one. You know, if you, if you read the book, it was supposed to be set up this way. So it was okay. set up as a win win. And, you know, when you go in to a negotiation, you kind of want to go in that direction. Sam's really easy to, to negotiate with. Yeah. Somebody yeah. wouldn't be normally that easy like me. to negotiate with. Yeah. <laughs> but but I also would have asked for a lower price, too. But it, you know I wanted to make it faster and easier rather than us kind of going back and forth in the price because we had we were limited on time too. Yeah. yeah. With forty chairs, it's a lot easier to give into a lower price. Yeah. More than just one or two. Yeah. So, how do you think it went? I think it went pretty good, because I'm trying to think. My problem is, I'm normally slow as calculating numbers when I'm reducing the price. I'm normally on a calculator or something like that, or, or pencil and pad, and try to get the actual value right. I may have missed some points in terms of the price. I mean, that was my fault, though. One thing, I'm not completely clear, I don't remember giving me the warranty. I was asking if you won't pay extra for a warranty. And at the end, you say, you said you're going to give it to me. I don't, don't remember giving you the warranty. I thought, give me a lower price, but negotiate the warranty on top of that if you want it. Anybody else? Uh, there was a moment there for you, Sam, where you just had your back to the audience. Yes. Yeah. Okay, because okay, I was actually negotiating with him, so, but I'm not sure in this specific reenactment. You were, you were that interacting. Time, I'm, I'm the one that's supposed to be facing the audience. It yeah, really so, didn't matter about Sam. So I'm just really but, reenacting so, with yes, him. But if you had trouble good. hearing, perhaps you're right. Yeah. So for the presentation. We could hear you, you just couldn't see you. Yeah, because reenacting the part, I'm really just working directly with him. Yeah. Uh, question Is there a scenario, because I know you were working off of a, a book of some kind, mm -hmm. is there a scenario where as you can get a little bit more pushback regarding the win win? Special edition is not that simple? Not according to the assignment, no. Okay. We're supposed to do a really nice, easy, win win okay. type. So. But in the real world, there would be some pushback. So they could yes. probably push back. Yeah, because yeah. in general, there would be some pushback. I can right. tell you. And the negotiating would take more time. Right. And, we're, and our biggest concern is reducing the time limit. 
Speaking of time, Lily. <laughs> Madam <laughs> Toastmaster. Okay. How are you? What a great speech. If you were in a classroom sitting, I'd give you an A. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job by starting off talking about the different kinds of you know, negotiating tactics, win-win, win-lose. <laughs> lose, lose. How a kid may negotiate his way out of trouble. Buying a car, a house. All great. Way to give us an overview and direction on where you were going in your speech. Uh, you went into stories, such as the time you bought the stereo system. Uh, the time you bought the car. And then, of course, you and Sam came up here and did a great rendition of sort of what a negotiation tactic would sort of be like. <laughs> you know, you went into all these options about mutually agreeable, keeping, repeating your options when you didn't hear what you like to hear. Um, I would have liked to see you dive into that a little more. And of course, I know you have this window of a six-minute speech or eight-minute speech or whatever it was, but it would have been great if you could have dived into that a little more because I know this weekend I was out negotiating a car deal, except I was out for lose win. <laughs> <laughs> but I also was in a position where my little Prius has got 200,000 miles on it. So it's to the point now where I'm worried about battery life and other problems going along with it. So I want to, I want to turn it over while I can. But I, just, but I don't have to leave that day with the car because it's still on the road. But I understand the win lose, the lose lose, the lose win. All those were great topics of speeches. Um, if I can make some suggestions. You, uh, when you were setting up the room for your negotiation with Sam, have the chairs sort of set up already, because you both sort of had your backs to us, which is okay, but it's not okay. <laughs> um, Sam, he talked about it, never turn your back to the audience. You know, it's just one of those things where you're looking, where, where sound, doesn't, sound carries this way, versus having a going forward. It also makes you look more confident. How many and ums did you have when you were rocking your chair back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> I got four. Uh, Sam, pretty good <laughs> when you were discussing how negotiations went. But overall, I mean, great speech, you guys. I'm being nitpicky here. Uh, I really like the humor. That must have been the broken one. <laughs> Are we ever? We have, some other people got some chuckles when it's it rocks. <laughs> Keep the positive up. And Sam, if you got some twenty dollar chairs, you and I need to discuss because I'm negotiating the three of them right now. <laughs> Are generally evaluated, please.